Hey guys, it's Wednesday, so we're going to be going over the fall and the redemption. It's kind of like the bad news, good news kind of thing. It's like if I got bad news, but I've also got good news, I'll give you the bad news first, that we'll be getting off on a good note. That's kind of what today is. So, we're going to be all going over not one, not two, but three verses today. So, the first one is Romans 3.23. That says that all, for all have sinned and fall short of the glory of God. That's a bit of a doubt. Because then, Paul goes on to write that in Romans 6.23, that the wages of sin is death. This is deadly serious. Literally. If the wages of sin de is death. Wages means what we've earned. So if what we've earned through sin is death. And we can't go to heaven. What the death he's talking about here. Known as the second death. He's going to hell rather than heaven. So if that's what we've earned, then we can't be with God. But, that's not the end of the story. Here comes redemption. So the fall, first of all, was when Adam and Eve chose to break their promise to God sinning and this sin created a gap to, between the humans and God and we're trying to get to God but there's a big get, but there's a big ravine in between us so if we go And that ravine is hell. We can't get to God on our own. That's why God made a better way. So we're here. This is us. This is God. God sent his son. To fill the gap. So that we. Could get to God. Make sense? So then. We're here. Because the thing is, Romans 6.23 doesn't end at for the wages of sin is death. And neither does the story. Romans Romans 6.23 says, For the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life. So, the question is, are you willing to accept the bridge so that you could, so that you can cross to go, to get to God? Or are you going to stay, walk around the bridge, and keep going towards hell? That bridge is Jesus. So if you've never trusted Jesus, it's the best decision you can ever make. And right now, this is the core. And right now, I'm sharing you with you the core of my faith. The number one thing. Because if you ask Jesus to be the Lord of your life, he says he will never leave you nor forsake you. And here's the third verse. It's John 3.16. You may have heard of it. It says, For God so loved the world that he gave us his one and only Son, so that whoever believes in him shall not perish, but have eternal life. Again, this perish, perish means dying, and this is talking about the second death, not, you know, when our heart stops beating, because that's going to happen. But for Christians, that is a day of rejoicing. Because we get to go to heaven, be with God in, per in perfection. It 
So who will you put your trust in today? Jesus or yourself? This is my challenge to you. Go to the nearest church. Tell the pastor, I want to make my profession in Christ. Pray with him. Ask Jesus to be the Lord of your life. And then, and he will change your life. Again, all of this is if you haven't accepted him already. But this is important. It's the best decision you'll ever make. So go do it. This is Thomas signing off. I'll see you Friday. Oh, it was quite the session, wasn't it? I'll see you Friday. It's Thomas signing off.